Welcome to Nick Solly channel. Like and hit notification bell for more updates. Turtle Islands, officially the municipality of Turtle Islands, is a fifth class municipality in the province of Tawi Tawi, Philippines. According to the 2020 census, it has a population of 5,683 people. The islands have an aggregate land area of 308 hectares. The smallest island, Langon, measures about 7 hectares, while the largest, Taganak, is about 116 hectares. The islands are mostly tadpole-shaped and elongated along the northeast-southwest direction, with the highest portion in the northeast. Taganak, the largest island, has the highest point of land, which is approximately 148 meters above sea level. Langon, the smallest island, is relatively flat and nested on an extensive coral reef. The islands are located within the Sulu Sea at the southwestern tip of the country, at the edge of the international treaty limits separating the Philippines and Malaysia. Together with three islands of neighbor country Malaysia and the surrounding coral waters, Turtle Islands are the only living areas for the green sea turtles in Asia and in the whole world. For some indigenous peoples, Turtle Island refers to the continent of North America. The name comes from various indigenous oral histories that tell stories of a turtle that holds the world on its back. Filipinos have long known that the beautiful island province of Tawi Tawi offers much to see and experience for every visitor as it is full of diving sites and a wealth of culture and heritage sites. Indeed, the island is very irresistible. Have you ever heard of the Turtle Isles of Tawi Tawi? It is a remote group of seven islands in the province. The Turtle Islands are one of Tawi Tawi's many great attractions that showcase the beauty of the province. Did you know? In the Philippines, mud volcanoes are known to exist only on the Turtle Islands. Presence of these formations is evident on three of the islands Lahiman, Great Bakangan, and Boong. Islands The hills on these islands are mostly mud volcanoes. On Great Bakangan Island, gray mud quietly flows from the vent in a pulsating manner accompanied by gas bubbling. On Bone Island, mud extrusion have ceased for a number of years. For a successful conservation and protection program, the support of the locals was very important. Fishing, for most of them is the most important activity and source of income. Hunting sea turtles and collecting the turtle eggs for food had always been a possible source for additional income. From the end of August to December, turtles come by the hundreds from the surrounding coastal waters to lay and dig their eggs into the sand. For the five islands, the Philippine government decided to create special protection zones, and within these zones, only scientific and conservation activities are allowed. In other zones, certain rules were adopted in order to prevent too much impact by people on the environment and the turtles. That's all. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Visiting these zones is only possible with strict guidance and under supervision of the staff of the officials of the government.